Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legends out of Breath of the Wild. We're currently on our way to, uh, what's it called? The Nehru Mountain. And hopefully we'll actually get there sometime soon. We just went slightly off track to go get another shrine over there, so there it is. Now to go back on track. Although we still have a ways to go. And I wish we could run faster than this. Do I have any speed potions still? Probably not. Nope. Okay then. It's a good thing I have all this stamina though. Can run for ages now. Okay, so, now that we're back on the road, might have been a good idea to actually take a horse with me this way, but I guess not. I forgot to take one, it's fine. So fine. Some birds. I feel like there's probably going to be something if I climb up this thing, right? Maybe? Am I wrong? Well, I'm pre pretty sure I'm wrong. Let's keep keep moving. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to climb. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, and there's a thing over there. This place looks looks cool. There's also some strong enemies up ahead, so... I probably want to change my armor. Uh, what's... Oh, that's definitely the best stuff. Wow. Okay. Just get rid of you, all of you. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Okay. That's fine. Let me switch my weapon real quick. Just so I can do more damage and also stun. Maybe fire will get him. Burn, 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 nope. Switching between two elemental weapons is really good because they, they charge while you're not using them. Which is good. Now... Oh, I definitely want to cross this river here, right? Probably. Also, switching between climbing gear and good armor is a little bit of extra work. But that's okay. This is tall as well. I might need to be careful with my jumping to save stamina. Also, that tree might not have anything on it for me, which is why I was trying to get up here to check that tree. Doesn't look like it. Don't think there's anything behind it. Treasure in the river. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's just head back down. Passing a few enemies. Oh, and there's a treasure chest right there. Might as well just pick that up since it's right here. And I believe if we turn onto the shrine on the Sheikah sensor, there's a shrine nearby. So we're probably going to try and get that. Do I have a leaf? I don't have a leaf. Oh, that's a shame. There might be a... A leaf nearby, possibly. Well, there might be something else I can use. To move this raft, because I need this raft. Um. Oh, hello everyone. I might just blow, blow you up if I can. And I might just have to swim across to the waterfall over there. Since I don't have a thing. Also, I could also use Cryonis. I wonder if you could move a raft using Cryonis, just, just Cryonis. Oh. Yep. What are you doing, Link? Move. Ow. There's a rock over here as well, which I'm guessing is a Korok. So let's pick that up. It is a Korok. 
getting close to a total of 100, 100 corks already. <laughs> oh my goodness, you can see the orange reflection from the waterfall on the water. If that doesn't tell you where the shrine is, I don't know what will. Also, there's this path up here that I should have taken, actually. That's okay. We're almost there. And I wonder where in here is the, the shrine. Oh, I can dash a lot more than I realized. Probably need to, though, because of the waterfall pushing me back. Swim upward. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right in there. Although it's going to be difficult because I'm just going to be going straight in using gliding. But if you use the raft, you're probably going to have a lot more chance of success because of... Ow, ow, ow. Because of being able to go through the waterfall and not get pushed down. Otherwise, you could, I guess I could have just swum, swam through the waterfall and then climbed up, I guess. But anyway, we're in here now. Oh, don't turn around. I'm trying to do things. Gonna get some of this. Gonna be useful for selling. Well, this shrine barely fits in here. Oh, that's okay. Because it looks like the shrine shouldn't be able to fit, but it does. It's like it was made for it. Oh, there's a cave there. The Ah, oh, of course I should have taken the tunnel on the side path. Anyway, let's have a look at this shrine. Three boxes. I've definitely seen this shrine before. It looks like I need three boxes. Oh, there's one. Oh, does it mean treasure chests? I guess it means treasure chests. Anyway. There's this one here with opal. And I'm guessing there's one back here as well. There's one on that elevator. Oh, there's a box in there. Which I'm going to have to figure out. Oh, there's a, that one up there. Okay. Let me just think for a second. Let me just think. Gonna put that on there. That's a big button. A very big button. Oh, you're supposed to shoot that down. Do I, but I don't have any regular arrows. It's a good thing I've got a lot of ice arrows that I don't need. Do I only need to shoot one? No, I need to shoot both. Because it's hooked onto the wall. Makes sense. Here we go. Got a Zora sword. Oh, my inventory's full. And we get a block. Okay, I'll have to figure out how a block's gonna help me now. Because I can press the switch with it. Although, I think what I need to do is actually take that out of there. I think I've got all the chests in the shrine already. Yep. And I need to put it onto this platform here. So that when it goes up, I can hop onto it when it goes down again. Nice. Just gonna hold it right, right there. Get on. And very nice. It's a pretty well designed shrine. Well, let's keep going. And now Let's go through that cave this time, since that seems like a better path to take than just swimming across. OK, 
can also climb across this or just do that, apparently. Wasn't trying to dive straight off. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> Why did I fall so low? I don't even think I can climb up that. This is a shame. Yo, nope, nope. Oh my goodness. Why does it have to be so complicated? Anyway, let's swim across. Again, since I can't go along that other path since I ruined it. What are you looking at, Korok? Nice. I guess it does kind of want you to... I guess... Yeah, it does seem like it's designed for you to be able to just swim across as well, so... I guess swimming across wasn't the worst option to take. It was, I guess, in some way intended. This place looks really cool. Like, really, really cool. Just look at that. I'm sure there's plenty of things I'm missing, but that's okay. Oh, they've spotted me, but that's okay, because I'm gonna absolutely destroy them. Goodbye. I need you to not fall off the edge, Silver Bokoblin, because you drop good stuff when you die. And I need good stuff. Ow. Let me switch my weapon again. Ow. Okay, there goes the Rook's protection. I'm gonna have to wait for that to recharge before using it again. Okay. What did you drop? Some topaz. That's about all the good stuff he dropped. Just some topaz. I'm guessing there's something up here if I go round, right? It's not just the way that they go round for when they're alerted, right? Well, there's obviously this arrows here. I can go across this if I don't mess that up. I wonder what's over here. I, I'm going off the rails right now, but it's probably fine. Doesn't look like there's anything to grab. Is this just taking me over to the, the waterfall, I guess? Possibly. Doesn't look, look like it wants me to go up. I think. Anyway, it was interesting coming over here. Time to head back across. And continue on. This is quite a long path. Looks like I can see a destination there. Since we're coming close to the end. Oh, what a year. Have I seen... Okay, you are just a blue moblin. Oh, he's dead. Cool. I thought it was going to take a little bit more than that, but... Nope, he's, he's gone. But anyway, this art should look familiar. Slightly, probably. Lanera Road, Eastgate. Because there's a memory here, but I'm actually just going to walk past it for now. I'm going to I I'd like to come back to it after a little bit more exploring in this direction, which is also going to include this guy, a blue maned Lionel. We're going to actually have to take him on. No Druk's protection, only two Obosa's fury. 
Oh my goodness, he shot me with ice arrows. Also, if he's stunned like he was just two seconds ago, we can actually mount him and swing for damage. Can't do a ton though, but that's okay. Oh, please let me change my weapon. Okay, get back over here. Oh, that was a bad move. Okay, let me get some food because I'm going to die. Do I have a... Yes, I do have a strength potion. Let me use that as well. Or a, a defense. That, that's the one. Defense potion. Oh, careful. Oh, is he... Okay, he's not getting zapped by that. Uh, plan B. Oh, plan B is my forest dr dweller, dweller sh thing. Shield broke. We can also repel his attack and possibly dodge him to get a good quick time thing. Oh, my Gerudo shield broke. He's strong. But we knew that already. Okay. Just be careful. Oh, he's got fire he's going to shoot at me. But I've also got ice arrows. Oh wow. Ow, my, oh, my shields are breaking. Okay. This is fine. This is absolutely, completely fine. Especially if I do that. Some good damage, but not as much as I need overall. Fly rush again. Good damage. Okay, very nice. Dodging is your friend. Flurry Rush is super useful. Ow, ow, ow. Let's eat some food. Okay. Very nice. And this should be enough. Unless my sword breaks. Okay, that works as well. I'm getting a lot of these quick times now, which is surprising, because it wasn't before. Okay. And that is our first Lionel defeated. Wasn't the weakest kind, but it was still pretty strong. Get its guts. Oh, I should have been looking at the other thing. Lionel guts. This highly sought after ingredient can only be obtained from a Lionel. It pulses with the vitality of a Lionel. A strength that makes it invaluable as an ingredient for elixirs. Lots of ice arrows. There's our horn. The Lionel, this horn once uh, grew upon, surely misses it. Except it's exceptionally hard. So hard that most blades cannot scratch it. Just throw in it into a stew with critters to make elixirs. That still seems like a waste though. Lionel Shield, a st sturdy shield favoured by Lionels for its defence and offensive capabilities. Uh, first and foremost, a shield, but the bladed edges can deal slashing attacks when deflecting. Oh, that's interesting actually. Can I drop that back on the ground though? Because I also need to take pictures of all of this. So I don't have to fight another Lionel for, for them, to take pictures of them. Lionel, mighty Lionel Sword. Mighty Lionel Sword. This Lionel made sword boasts more blades, um, uh, more blow blades and more boasts more blades and more attack power. A skilled Lionel can draw this sword simply by in passing, and still cut a foe in two. Lionel Hoof, a hoof. This rare ingredient can can ah uh, can be on, obtained only from a Lionel's ho foot. It's larger and heavier than a horse's hoof. It's useful for making elixirs, but may have uses beyond that. And finally, Savage Lionel Bow. 
This Lionel bow is made from a special steel found at the peak of Death Mountain. It has tremendous uh, stopping power and can pierce thick armor as easily as thin paper. That's a good bow. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to let go of a different bow. Just a regular knight's bow, I guess. So let's take that with us. And let's keep going along the path. I don't think I've actually ever gone along this path before. So this is going to be new territory for me. There's a lot of spicy peppers around. So if you don't have any... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Cold resistance armor, which we have plenty of. In fact, I can actually... Oh, that's... I can do that. That's the best armor defense thing I can do. But you need cold resi resistance as we go up uh, Mount Hylia, or Laneru, Mount Laneru, that's the one. So we need two levels of that. Cool stuff, Lena. This medicinal plant grows in high elevations such as mountains in the Hebra or Garuda regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporar temporarily increase your heat resistance. That was That's also pretty good if you really need it. But you need two levels, so you really need, really need stuff for it. Chill shroom. Often found at the base of pine trees in cold climates, these mushrooms are cool to the touch and can be used to cook dishes that allow you to stay cool even in arid area regions. So that's not as useful here, but in Garuda Desert, it would be useful if we didn't already have sun resistant or heat resistant stuff. Flame resistant stuff doesn't work in the desert though, as well. There's a lot of stuff to just pick up. Oh my goodness. Even wild berries. Anyway, I'm going to try and follow the path as much as possible and not get distracted by things off to the side. Also, I don't I have... Yeah, I'm going to switch out my helmet and then... Oh, that's going to lower my defense a lot, but that's okay. It means I can run faster. Okay. The snow boots are very useful. A lot more useful, I'd say, than the the sandals from the guy outside Gerudo that we haven't even finished up with him yet. Oh, hello. I'm just going to walk past you because of, you're annoying me. Basically. I'll take your arrows, though. Thanks for the free gift. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a bad move. Move, please take the white choo choo jelly. Some luminous stone is probably a good place to grind it up here. Also, I'm gonna just quickly check. Okay, I have taken pictures of these before. Very nice. Getting pretty, pretty high up already. Definitely not the highest around here so far, but we are still quite a ways from the top as well. I like these ice pillars as well. Very cool, literally. Oh, and some hearty truffle, yes please. That'll go nicely on my third page of full restores. There's also a lot of enemies around this area, so I'm just going to walk past all of that then. I hear keys, and also the music has changed. This music might sound familiar, in a way. 
but very different at the same time. You gonna just leave? Okay then. This music is very ominous. Not this music, the, the, the other music when there's no enemies around. I think we're getting close to the top though, which is surprising because I thought it would take a lot longer than this. Okay. Is this where we stop? I'm gonna take care of you because you're annoying me. So have I taken a picture of you? I have. Okay then. I missed. How did I miss? There we go. That'll get rid of you. Gonna take all that. Oh, and there's more. Just so much more. Fire instantly kills most ice enemies as well, which is nice. If I need it. I almost instantly kills them. Oh, I guess it does. It did, did actually get rid of them. Oh wow, look at this though, Knight's Claymore, I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those before. It's just a big impressive sword. Okay, please, enemies, enemies, come on, there we go. Ice Key Swing, a rare Ice Key Swing. Its frozen surface gleams attractively. But its usefulness isn't uh, readily apparent. It's understandable. Okay, it looks like we do have a little bit more to, ways to go. I'll take that. Oh wow, you didn't die in one hit. Okay. Thanks for the raw prime meat. Okay, that's a log, but it doesn't have anything in it. I was expecting to turn around and see a, a nut inside that I need to break for a Korok. Oh wow, we still aren't at the top yet. But maybe we're close? However, the dreaded malice unleashed by the Calamity Ganon has possessed its body and reduced it to this state. You who have received the spirit orbs, free Nadra from this malice, show what your power can achieve. So yes, this is our third spring and our third dragon, Nadra who's currently covered in malice. It's a lot of malice though, look at all that. Anyway, let's try shooting it in one of its giant eyes. All the rest closed up when we shot that one. But it did get rid of that malice. Oh wow. Can I... Oh wow. It's just a giant dragon. Oh, updraft. Take the updraft. Thank you. I didn't catch it all the way, that's okay. Just need to 
keep, keep up with the updraft if I can as it moves up with the dragon. Come on, so close. And this is actually the top of the mountain, way up here. I'll just double check that there's no Korok here, quickly. Doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, shrine. I probably marked that one already. Yes, I have. Now, where'd the dragon go? There. Let's try going up with Revali's Gale. Can I get close enough to get an updraft, please? No? Oh, wow. Claws. Giant claws. Oh, maybe I need to... Yeah, I need to shoot one of the eyes from here. Don't need to be flying for it, just need to shoot the eyes. It doesn't seem to have an updraft near it, I guess. Okay. Now it should be moving again. There's Hateno, by the way. Oh, it's going way down. It's going right down into this uh, updraft area, which works for me. So I need to shoot one of the eyes again. Okay, there we go. Where's it going next? I think the wind's trying to take me along with it. Right down to here. Basically where we started. Now where's the last thing right over there? The last eye, patch of malice. It's not open yet. But this looks like the spot. There we go, and let's drop so we get a closer shot, and... Got it. Thanks to your efforts, Nadra, the spirit of Mount Laneru, has been freed from the grips of an evil power. But a single ceremony remains. Now loose an arrow through the body of Nadra to free the spirit of this region. Nadra's been returned. The true form. I want to get a better picture now that it's the true form. Urbosa's fury is ready. Now all that remains is to get one of its scales. And Nadra is free. Now just like the other two dragons, Nadra will be roaming around this region and... I don't know. It's this part of the map, I guess. That is the spirit Nadra scale. Or Nidra, I don't know. It fell when your arrow struck. It serves as proof of the courage you received from the one who served the spring since ancient times. Come, offer a scale from the blue spirit Nadra to the spring of wisdom. Nadra's scale. This precious scale fell from the blue spirit Nadra it contains a bitter cold within. You can use it in cooking, but just eating it seems like a waste. Let's offer up the scale.
Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. And that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.